not. Hey everyone, and welcome to Letty Does the Punisher, official trailer to reaction. So the second trailer for the Punisher solo series has just dropped, and I haven't gotten a chance to look at it yet, but I'm already pretty excited as it is because I saw John Berth Bernthal's performance as the Punisher in Daredevil, and I absolutely loved it, and I think he is so perfect. And I just love that they've already established so much of this character and his personality and who he is in Daredevil, that now that he's going to get his own series, they can focus on his conflict, and they can focus on just him being a badass and solving it his way, which usually involves guns and beating people down. But since this is going to be a pretty dark show with a lot of backstory to it from the comics, I hope, there are some things that I'm going to be looking for. So the first thing is Karen Page, because she showed a lot of interest in him and his story back in Daredevil, and she feels like she's going to be a big part of him and his life, whether he wants her to be or not. And the thing is, this is completely new because, first of all, in the comics, she's dead and she never associated with the Punisher. So her now being involved with the Punisher, I guess just leaves me wondering why. Is it simply because they really want a romantic interest for Frank and now that Daredevil is dead? Is Karen going to be looking for someone else? Or is it because she's actually a journalist and she really is going to help Frank bring light to what happened to his family and the injustice that was done to him? But I mean, it's probably the first one. Because it seems like it's going that direction and we saw her journalism skills back at the ending montage for Daredevil and let's just say she's not a strong writer so I don't think she would be of much help to Frank but in any case I just want to know where the fuck does Karen fit into all this so the second thing I'm going to be looking for is micro because we saw at the end of Daredevil that Frank goes and gets a CD that has micro on it so that would be alluding that He's either going to meet Micro, which wouldn't really make much sense, but either meet Micro or he's going to go and get help from Micro. So for those of you that don't know, Micro for a long time in the comics is pretty much his ally and his companion and his friend and he's just like his weapon supplier slash information gatherer slash hacker person and you know. I really loved him in my favorite issue of the Punisher's War Journal, the wedding edition. Not that Punisher gets married. It's more like him and Micro decide to crash this mob wedding by having the Punisher pretend to be this really pretentious caterer and Micro just kind of be on his watch until ultimately, you know, they decide to crash the party once and for all, and Daredevil actually <sighs> jumps out of a cake that they had set up for him to sneak into the party even though he was <laughs> already there. So, um, yeah, he is a big part of Punisher's story and of how he advances in the comics because he's there for him and he supplies him with things, you know until he ultimately turns evil and then dies, but then he gets resurrected by the hood, so it's kind of okay, and I mean, I'm not gonna get into all that. But aside from Karen, Frank doesn't really have many people on his side or anyone that wants to help him, and he's always kind of liked it that way, but we need more characters on the show, and if he is anything like his comic counterpart, he will be the perfect foil to Frank's character, so I am most definitely looking forward to that. So the last thing that I'm going to be looking for is any sign of Kingpin being in the show. Reason I say Kingpin kind of 
out of nowhere is just because we know that he was the reason that Frank got released from jail so that Frank can go and crush his enemies and make it easier for him to reassume power when he gets out of jail. And in the comics, he plays a large part in Frank's life. He is the cause of so many of his companions' death and he is the reason for so much shit that happens in the criminal world in the comics that I think it'd be really weird to not have him in the show or at least some semblance of his influence in their large criminal world. And now with the Defenders having killed off Matt Murdock and that was pretty much his main reason that he couldn't advance his power because obviously he can get out of jail at any time. So now that Daredevil's gone, is Kingpin going to take this opportunity to get out of jail? Especially now that the hand isn't even on his back and he pretty much has no opposition to just control the criminal empire there. It would be perfect to have Frank up against him. But um, since this seems to be more focused on Frank Castle's personal beef that he's trying to resolve, maybe they won't have it. Maybe that'll be season two. But I feel it's really important and I really don't see how they can advance the story without it because Kingpin is the reason for a lot of what Frank Castle does. So I'm just going to be looking to see pretty much if Kingpin is the villain, or if it's someone else, or if there is some crime organization going on af from the aftermath of the hand. And that is pretty much all I'm looking for. I think the show is going to be super awesome, and I guess I just want to see how that unfolds. But for right now, I just want to see what they have laid out on the table for us this season. Marvel's The Punisher, official trailer number two. Let's get started. Gentlemen, I'm the only authority you will need. So it looks like we definitely are going to get like his full backstory rather than just like some random target? vigilante for his own personal Things over there. agenda that we got in Daredevil. You did what you were supposed to do, right? Now the only person you're punishing is yourself. Ha! I see what he did there. He's gonna punish everyone else. Oh! This is micro. This has to be micro. Okay. I'm looking for Frank Castle. The Punisher. I think he knows about my case. And it looks like he's already the Punisher in the show, so I guess it'll just be like a light touch to his backstory. And then of course since we see his family, it's probably gonna be all the feels as well. But a war inside you. Ooh! Micro takes a swing at him. So I guess, like, by the end of the season, he might become an enemy already. That's very short lived. Who's this person? Is that the chick that was either hunting him down or helping him? I need to find these bastards. I gotta kill them. Oh! And then we get Karen! Crying. So like she always end? does to help. What are you supposed to do? These men, they decide what the truth is. So it looks like he is either going to have the law working with him to take down a larger criminal. Oh, it looks like we're even gonna get some of. Oh god, no. No. No more! The Karen Frank doesn't even make sense! The world needs she's like a sad, me. squishy marshmallow when he's like a rock. Marshmallows don't go with marshmallows. Ah, oh, this looks so cool. The truth must be taken. And now we have a date! Next month? Next month! Oh, that's exciting. Okay, let's just end it. So that trailer looked pretty dang good, and I have high hopes for this season. And it did answer quite a few of my questions. So it looks like Karen 
is going to be showing up a lot in this season and, you know, potentially annoying the shit out of Frank at first, but it does seem like they are going to form some type of romantic relationship. But I don't necessarily think it's as a journalist because there was that scene where, like, there's rubble falling and for some reason she was in a crumbling building even though she always hated being in dangerous situations. But if they do go that route, which would be completely original and out of nowhere pretty much, that does bring the same issue that was with her dating Daredevil, which is these guys are superheroes slash supervillains, which makes her a liability if she gets taken hostage, to which she could potentially be killed. And then of course, there is the fact that you know, maybe while she's around all these drug lords that Frank is going to be fighting, she'll get some type of heroin addiction and eventually overdose. Or she'll be fine and everything will work out for her, you know, and she'll live happy with Frank. We'll just have to see. A relationship I am excited for, however, is between Frank and Micro because it does seem like he's going to be introduced pretty early in the season at least episode one or two. I don't think much further than that. I'm not sure how much they're gonna focus on the backstory, but if he's the one giving Frank the information showing that he has documented what had happened to him while he was in the military, I think it's gonna surround that and that's pretty much going to be the plot of this season. And it seems like, since he's just calling him Frank, since he seems kind of casual with him, they are going to be friends, at least at first, but since Micro does take a swing at him, it kind of might lead me to believe that it might take the route like the comics where he feels like Frank just isn't doing the right thing or being the Punisher correctly and he wants someone else to be the Punisher, which would lead him to become a supervillain. So, a relationship built across 30 years in the comics looks like it's going to be torn down in about 13 episodes. But it seems like, I hope, that he's at least going to be a fun character because they did show the scene with his family that get murdered and maybe then they'll have something to bond over. At the very least... Frank will have a friend for at least one episode. And lastly, even though we did not see the image of the Kingpin in this trailer, I did see some semblance of organized crime. There was a building blown up that seemed like it might have been important and then the guy walks forward. So there was also clips of like organized crime being carried out and Frank has to fight against that along with the law, who I guess is hunting Frank at the same time, which leads me to believe that maybe the ultimate reveal at the end of the season is that Kingpin has been pulling the strings this entire time in or out of jail because we know he has a very heavy influence even while in jail. So now I guess it just leaves me wondering if I'm going to get a face-off between the two characters, just because I think that would be super awesome. But I mean, until now, no Kingpin, just your regular crime. And aside from that, that was pretty much all I'm looking for. So let me know what you guys thought of this trailer and what you're speculating about this season. And I will see you next time. Bye.